After nearly a decade, Sally Challen is finally free. A huge moment for her, her family, and for British law. I just wanted to say how happy I am, and I want to thank my legal team and all my family who stood behind me and stood with me through all of this. As a family, we are overjoyed with today's verdict. We have enjoyed, endured nine years of this. Today recognises, and here's a case of detailing 40 years of coercive control by our father. As a family, we have sought justice and to understand the events, to stop lives being lost and for victims to be recognised. Today was her first appearance in public since her release from prison. In court, prosecutors announced they would accept her plea of manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility. Sally Challen killed her husband Richard in 2010 at their home in Surrey after she said she was controlled and humiliated by him for years. She was jailed for his murder the following year. In 2015, coercive control, persistent acts of intense mental threats and intimidation became a criminal offence in England and Wales. And in February, following years of campaigning by her family, Mrs Challen's conviction was quashed by the High Court. She was reunited with her two sons in April, following her release from prison after nine years. I've been in therapy now, I suppose, in prison for nearly five years. Um, and throughout it all, I had difficulty moving on from the past. Um, I think through that, though, um, I'm now a much stronger person. I think I'll always love Richard. He's a part of me. With her legal team successfully arguing she was coerced and controlled, Sally Challen has made legal history in a case which may now bring hope to others.